What's up, Buttercups? Hope you guys are having an amazingly golden day with cherries on top. If this is your first time watching, my name is Elvis. That is Core from Core Motor Cars, and that is a 1979 Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> and today we're going to be talking about it because this car has been around way before I was born, and it's going to be probably here, before, like way after I'm gone, because it feels like it's been produced forever. And so in this video, we're going to be, I've always wanted to check out one of these, and so I'm excited to do that. And lucky enough, Core has one in stock yeah you can, so if you're interested in this car it's actually going on bring a trailer it's right going on bring a trailer yeah. so it hopefully fingers crossed depending on when you're watching the video it should be going live next week sweet so i hope yeah so, so if you're watching it is probably live yeah perfect so with that said let us check out this car i'm so excited to like check it out we're gonna check out the exterior we're gonna look at the interior the styling the features for 1970s <laughs> the tech. and then I'm gonna get out and drive this thing so with that said let's get started Just walk us through this car because I have no idea. I know it's a Volkswagen Beetle and I know, do you know how many years they've made, so, made these things? So we just we just looked it up. I'm not an expert on Volkswagen <laughs> Beetles. <laughs> I'm not an expert on Volkswagen Beetles, yeah. but um, we just looked it up and it looks like like production, serious production started, started in the late 1940s and then we also just looked it up i knew mexico was still selling them as a brand new car and that ended That's the last crazy. one the last one went off the assembly line in i believe the summer of 2019 oh, in and mexico they probably hardly changed it too it, I don't in the it, what yeah. 60 years of production because yeah, <laughs> i i remember going to mexico um and getting in a ta a lot of the taxi cabs mm -hmm. are Volkswagen Beetles, oh. right? They use them as taxi cabs. Well, wait, how do they get around? Because it's a coupe. Oh, it's a coupe. This one, well, two this, door. Well, this one's this one's a, yeah. They're all. But what they did in Mexico, I was just telling all this that they take the uh, passenger seat out, so it's easy for passengers <laughs> to get <laughs> to into get the, back the back and get out. That is but, so funny. Yeah, 19, 1979. Mm -hmm. Over. We also looked up. They've sold over 21 million That's Volkswagen insane. Beetles, which is which is crazy. That is and, mind blowing. And honestly, like to in in Mexico, we were just talking about this. <laughs> Imagine buying like an a brand brand new, new old Volkswagen Beetle. Like Literally, no, no Bluetooth. <laughs> no, Probably no, no airbags. No, no airbags. No oh safety. Oh my gosh! Stuff, nothing. But I remember, I remember when I was in. Uh, in public school in in i forget grade in my yeah when i was like eight to 10 12 years old yeah um my friend's mom had one of these and she'd drive <laughs> us around in and i remember so the, funny you the remember experience? the smell the yeah smell, right? it's interesting you mentioned the smell because i still it literally smells like an old volkswagen or an old uh, what's it called BMW, like there's just a yeah. smell that it's just it's like some kind of really toxic. Yeah. <laughs> toxic smell. Yeah. And so just walk us through this car from the front to the back. The first thing I see is that it was designed by what Carmen, Carmen like Gia. Carmen yeah. Ghia. Yeah. yeah. So the same guys that made the Carmen Ghia. Yeah. They're so. pretty. I mean, they're they're really simple cars. Mm -hmm. Very simple cars. Really easy to 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 uh, to maintain and service. Yeah. Um, this one is a two owner uh british columbia car um second owner bought it off of the original owner mm -hmm. um probably 35 years ago wow and he's had it he's had it ever since that's um, insane yeah that is commitment other, other than the the paint it's been yeah. painted obviously. okay yeah the, the paint new, looks brand new <laughs> yeah the new top has gone on the car you yeah put new wheels on the car new mm -hmm. tires on the car I mean, he spruced it up a little bit. He didn't go crazy. Yeah. But it, the car actually is all original. That's crazy. Same engine. Same engine. Wow. Same transmission. It's only got a hundred thousand kilometers on it. That's nothing. Yeah. He barely well, drove the he, thing. He put the so the second guy, he only put about twenty five thousand kilometers oh. on it in uh, in the for forty years, thir thirty five years. What? Yeah. 
<laughs> so yeah. he literally barely drove this thing. No, he barely, yeah. It was, so he interesting. He bought it for his wife, and they basically took it out for ice cream and coffee on, That's so awesome. on a nice day. And there's just something about, I don't know, the styling, again, it's just very familiar. Like, it's something that you've seen for. Even the new ones kind of look like this. But honestly, compared to the new ones, I would probably get this because it is more, I don't know, nostalgic. It's, yeah. I don't know, there's just a thing. Like, I was just inside for like a two seconds trying to yeah. set up some camera stuff. And there's just a feeling you get when you're inside. It's well, like... You know, it's, it's like if you... Uh if you have a bunch of cars, yeah. why wouldn't, why would you, I yes. probably you have should a own one of these. Beat, yeah. <laughs> even though yeah. they're not, they're, they're, they're fun to drive. They're not very, they're, they're slow as hell. And it's I a mean, what? I was four speed, it's not right? that fast, but it's, it's four actually speed really transmission? slow. Transmission? Four speed transmission. Yeah. I think the engine's got less than 50 horsepower in it. <laughs> it's, I'm excited to see what that feels but, like. But it's actually a, a lot of fun to drive. It's, it doesn't weigh anything. Yeah, it's very, you know? feels very light. Like, and look at the size of these tires. <laughs> they were so small. Like, they look like bicycle tires. Are, more, bigger tires. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I just. It's a ton of fun. It is so clean on the inside. Like, it literally looks brand new in there. Yeah. It's awesome. Like, so is that completely stock? Like, everything, everything is stock in here? Except for the, uh, he put a retro radio in it. Okay. And then at some point in time, obviously, somebody put, chose to put some speakers in the door. Yeah. But the, the seats, the dash, all of that's, it's all original. That's so awesome. Yeah. The door carts, other than the holes from the speakers, are original. Oh, wow. Yeah. Pretty it's cool. We're very well taken care of. Wow, the uh, gloriously massive engine is sitting back there. <laughs> it's also interesting looking at this car and looking at the GT3, which is back there, and seeing as that pretty much came from this. So the humble origins, this is the humble origin story. So maybe, yeah, yeah. so if you guys want to see a video comparing this v uh, Beetle to that 911, Comment in the description below and we'll put something together. But that's very interesting. And then, and again, for those of you that don't know, because some people I'm guessing this might not know, but they're all rear engine cars. The they're Beetle's all rear, rear engine yes. and then the trunk. Well, no. No? The new Beetle. Oh, right? Remember? it's not rear engine anymore? No, the new oh. Beetle. You see, I didn't know that. Was, but it wasn't, an, it was called the new Beetle. Oh, it's just called the new Beetle. <laughs> right? The Volkswagen new Beetle. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, they, they put the engine in the front, but no, the, the, the original Beetle has yeah. always been a rear engine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And so let's check out the front because you would think there's actually a handle there for opening the trunk. Yeah. But yeah, show you us the way you open it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually, because if you press the handle now, it's not going to open. So you have to, there's like a button a in there somewhere like, yeah. And so you hit that. Hopefully that works. I think it'll work. Yeah. And then you open that literally, it's like exactly the same handle, <laughs> the same door as the handle. Like they look exactly the same, a little bit different, but for the most part, the same. So look in here, there's not su super much to see. Does this come with all the like maintenance records and all that stuff? It, or? No, the guy that, the, guy, the last guy that owned the car actually, yeah. um, owned a, a Honda, uh, what is it dealership. called, Motorsports. Oh, not okay. a Honda car dealership, but okay. of all their motorsports and oh, they wow. sold motorbikes and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did almost, I mean, it's basically oil changes and you know changing the belt and maybe changing the spark plugs that mm -hmm. kind of stuff so you know he did the fluids himself oh okay and, yeah, yeah so we just we just had it inspected mm -hmm. and we did an oil change on nice. it as well just to just to be sure yeah but yeah it's so cool i mean the the trunk there's literally nothing there i mean i don't think you can store maybe a bag there but uh yeah no <laughs> not much to see but all and this but all this is original there's a guy actually that came by to look at the car yeah. who's who's kind of a volkswagen beetle uh, expert kind okay. of guy okay and he was looking at it because i don't know what i'm looking at he was <laughs> looking at it yeah. and he was pointing out a whole bunch of things that kind of Prove that this car was, was is all original, yeah, and i didn't cool. know what he was talking about yeah. but yeah he was he was impressed so. that's awesome and uh yeah i think that's that's it like there's not much to see like i also like it that it's i don't know these bumpers are pretty cool i don't know if the 80s ones had like the 80s standard like extra stuff in here i don't i don't or not, think so but i think these were this is it it looks so classic and i really appreciate that that's yeah. pretty awesome 
And is the is the soft top difficult to take down? No, it's real easy. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Pretty easy, I'll help you. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so that's pretty much a tour of what the car looks like. Again, this car is pristine. So with that said, uh, let's go on a drive. I'm so excited to drive this thing. Oh, it's a very hot day in British Columbia. It is what, like almost 40 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's extremely hot. This car has natural AC, so there's no air conditioning is what I'm saying. So it's gonna be interesting. I'm probably gonna keep the, the top up the entire time. So with that said, let's go on the drive. So far, first impressions of driving. It's actually not bad. <laughs> it's definitely faster than I thought 50 horsepower was gonna go. <laughs> There's a lot of visibility around here. Like you can literally see all around you. And this is also a convertible, but even with this hard, this is soft top up, I can still basically see all around me. And something interesting about this car is it doesn't have a tachometer, so you don't know what your revs are. You literally just listen by ear and then you find it out. Also, the brakes are, uh, yeah, you have to stomp on them. Not really stomp on them, but you have to give it, they're not modern brakes. Ooh, they're, so there's pretty much no assist. So I'm going to guess, I don't know, but I'm gonna guess this thing does not have power brakes. But it stops well. Like once you give it enough input, it stops well. Doesn't have a problem stopping. But you just have to know that it's not like modern brakes that you can just tap him a little bit and you'll stop. So <laughs> that's one thing to know. How big have cars come today? Like cars today are so big. This was tiny and it worked. But I guess with safety and people demanding, the customers demanding more, consumers demanding more, or things like look at that K car right next to me just passing me and I just feel like we're bros because he's like almost in a matchbox looking car and pretty much I'm a little, I'm a little bit bigger than him so <laughs> oh this is hilarious I wish this thing had AC it doesn't even have places for vents which is interesting it does have defrost though so it has if you see temp it does have defrost but I don't want to turn that on because also this car is air-cooled. It's not water-cooled like a lot of modern cars. So with the gauges, you don't get much in the gauge department. Uh, you get a fuel gauge and you get your, how many kilometers you're doing the speedometer. And that's it for gauges. It does have a clock to the left of the, of the uh, center console, but minus that, that's pretty much the only, those are the only gauges you pretty much get. But we all know this Volkswagen has a huge cult following. Oh well, yeah, the gears, this gearbox is so nice. The, also, the way the car starts, the way the car moves, it's so smooth and so well done. This steering is too big. <laughs> it's too big for me, I'm too tall. So I'm like 6'2", and um, yeah, my, again, my knees are almost rubbing with the steering wheel, and um, my seat is all the way as far back as it'll go. Um, but yeah, I still need more room, I think, in my knee, in the knee, knee area, knee region. Um, but it's fine. <laughs> if the steering wheel was a little bit smaller, this would be perfect. Um, but yeah, this car definitely feels great. Like, it doesn't feel sketchy. Okay, let's see what it got. Oh yeah, my foot is to the floor right now. It doesn't have too much. <laughs> but again, this is 50 horsepower. So you have to live with it. It's not bad though. But yeah, the clutch is very easy to engage. We're going up a hill now. Power, come on, you can do it. Come on, go. And it's so interesting. <laughs> the indicator doesn't tell you uh, where you're, like which air arrow that you're going. It just shows left and right at the same time. So that's very interesting. Okay. Oh yeah. This is actually a fun car to drive, but I didn't think I was gonna be saying that. Like I was telling Core, there's just something you get about driving a Beetle that I haven't gotten in any car. It's just like, I'm not taking myself too seriously. It's just about fun, I think. And that's something I think that a lot of cars, even today with all the speed and all that stuff, have lost. And so, even though, yeah, it's a car from like, that's what, like a bunch of years old. Pretty much, again, this chassis is like from the 40s. But even though this car goes back to the 40s, you can't really feel that in a lot of the suspension components. It's just set up 
well. It doesn't feel bad. <laughs> this is actually pretty awesome. I'm actually very surprised by this. I've always wanted to drive a Beetle, a classic Beetle, like one of the ones from the first gen. And so I don't think this is from the first gen. This is from 1979. But still, it still embodies what the first gen was uh, because it will still retain the same style and the same size, basically. Um, and it's just awesome. And it, it's so cool. You can see the turn signals. You can see the end of the hood from here because this car is, again, it's so tiny. Okay, let's go. In this car, I just feel like I should take in the drive. It's not about the speed, it's about the experience. And this is, this is an amazing experience. There's definitely, again, the thing at the back of my head of like safety, like crap, what if I get in uh, a fender bender? That would not be fun. Uh, so again, considering this car's size and the safety features that existed or lack thereof in 1979, or even before that, because again, just how old this car's uh, chassis is, how old this car is in general. So uh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> it actually soaks up bump, not badly. Like, what? This thing rides better than my Datsun. <laughs> and my Datsun is from 1982. But this thing rides better than it. Uh, you can definitely feel how light the car is, though. It is so light. And apologies if you can't hear me because of the extra wind. Let's see, 80, like, it's going the speeds that I want it to go. There is an unsettling feeling though when you start approaching the high speeds. Woo! Which is like, I don't know if they're concerned about balance, but it's uh, definitely interesting. Yeah, this is a really fun car. <laughs> oh my gosh. And it's so interesting too to see where Porsche came from. Because with this car, without this car, you wouldn't have had things like the 911, all the crazy GT3s, GT4, GT4 RS, and a bunch of other things. Also, GT4 review coming soon, because that car is amazing, spoiler alert. So wait for the, my Cayman, my Porsche GT4 review. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like to give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And um, also, uh, check out Core at corecars.com or you can just google core motor cars and it'll come up if you're interested in this and a lot of other cool cars because core has a lot of cars so with that said that's pretty much it guys have an amazingly golden day with cherries on top bye